crowd buying. And your popcorn maker. It's an authentic 1968 Sears Roebuck popcorn maker, one of the first of its kind. Uh, this was the type that supplanted the classic Jiffy Pop concept that allowed the popcorn maker to actually add his or her own butter, salt, whatever. Back then, that was all you added the popcorn. The cheese and the garlic and all that other stuff came later. The caramel and so forth. What you do is you put in a couple of teaspoons of oil, uh, a couple of scoopfuls of unclocked popcorn, and you have this thing here which has the butter which melts as the corn is popping. So by the time the corn is fully popped, the butter should be fully melted. And then you would simply pour the butter over the popcorn, add salt or whatever flavor you wish, uh, shake it up real good so that everything gets mixed in, and you have yourself some very good homemade popcorn, I hope anyway. And how long have you had this machine for? I personally had it for something like, ooh, 30 years, but like I say, it is uh, 45 years old. I remember I got it in the early 1980s, I was working as a security guard in a bread factory, I think, a bakery, and the night I was there, they were having, I guess it was near Christmas, and the employees were having some kind of swap meet or something. And I put in a, uh, I happened to be working that shift, I put in a, uh, a ticket for whatever was going to be awarded and I, I won this thing. Actually, my heritage with this goes back further than that. I got an identical corn popper just like this as a Christmas present in 1968, the year that they first came out. And I used that for a good 10 to 15 years before the, the plastic cover broke and I couldn't use it anymore. But I've had this thing since, like I say, the early 80s. And it goes back, oh, a good 15 years before then. And it's never failed me. It still works today. I know there are much more modern corn poppers and I bought a few. But the plastic on the modern corn poppers, the plastic on the cover, seems to crack and break a lot more than, than this does. They made better plastic back then, I guess. So even though I, I buy uh, modern or more modern corn poppers, that was why they're coming back to this thing. Because it still works and it's still good. So as long as it still works and it's still good, I'm still going to use it. Well, we thank you for your popcorn, Hartley. Thank you, Mike. I'm uh, happy to help you in your historical uh, documentary on the whole question of uh, corn popping. So, pop away.